Hey you guys, this is Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique and in today's video we're going to be taking a quick look at pads from Clevger. So this is a stereo polyphonic synthesizer and a really cool thing is all Clevger plugins are actually touch sensitive. They can be used on a Mac and PC, VST and AU. So let's just see how this thing sounds right off the box. <laughs> Pretty cool, sounds really nice and clean. Let's do a quick little overview of the GUI. So we have this morph slider right here all the way to our left. And this is basically morphing between the six sounds that you can create individually. It has two different little engines that kind of create sounds. You can choose between them. So we'll go morph all the way to the bottom for now. Let's see what H sounds like. And let's see what I sounds like. L, K, and J. I'm liking J. We'll use J for now. Over here on the top, we have A through F. Let's see what happens when we morph between them. I'm liking that. So next, directly to the right, we have the wobble, which basically is going to add some little inconsistencies in the filter, in the morph. So if we turn all the way down and play something, nice and consistent. If we turn it all the way up, you can hear very obvious little like fluctuations. I'm liking that. I almost always have this all the way up. Now, next we have grains and noise. This is basically going to have grains or noise. And it's a really cool little XY axis where you can basically tell it where to be. I want just a little bit of both. Next, we have the high cut and resonance. A really cool thing is from here on out, we have this little button right here that says volume mod. This is basically creating a volume modulation depending on how hard and fast you hit your keys. So if I play this and I use this high cut and resonance. You can kind of hear how it kind of resonates it and it fluctuates on how fast and hard I'm hitting if I bypass it. It stays static and does not fluctuate. I personally prefer the fluctuation. Next we have the attack, release, and chorus. So attack and release is exactly like it sounds. It's an attack. And then release is exactly how it sounds. This also has the volume modulation section, which is really cool. If I bypass it and we turn this up. I'm actually going to leave it off for there. Next, we have the volume output, which also can be modulated by your playing. So that's it for the basic overview. This is a really easy plugin to use. It's basically as simple as it can be. Now, let's see a couple of these presets that we have. We have hard, soft, and noisy. These are all little designs you can start off between. Let's try this broken bells. That has a really nice, dirty, but still spacious sound. How about this sculpture too? That's pretty creepy. I like it. Let's try a tone wheel. Let's try these hard sounds. How about I never learn? I noticed that this one's not sensitive to the way you play it, which is probably the way it's set up in the preset. Yeah, it looks like it. Next, we have just bass. Let's try these soft sounds. We have quite a bit of soft sound. Let's try the strings. How about the tines? Ooh. That one sounds really, really cool. How about this last one? And let's go to Kate number two. So right off the bat, you get some really usable sounds and it's really easy to create your own. 
Anyway, that's it for today's video. Hope you guys like this. This has been Jerry Mateo with Plugin Boutique, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you.